Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to create users and security groups in Active Directory. Specifically, I'll be running Windows Server 2022 for this tutorial. Before we get started with that, if you're interested in Windows Server, RDS, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put the links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. So here we are on Windows Server 2022. We're on the desktop experience right now, and I've just finished installing and configuring this server as a domain controller. So the first thing that we're gonna do is just get started in our server manager. And up in the top right, we have a little tools icon that we can click here. And we're looking for Active Directory, Users, and Computers. Just go ahead and click that once. And then from the left side here, let's just minimize this. We're gonna click our domain and we'll click users. We can right click on this, hover over new, and then down towards the bottom, user. All right, our first user is gonna be John. And then we need John's uh, login information. And again, we'll type John. So it'll be John at indigodomain.com. And I'm okay to leave this as is for now. We'll click next. And then I'm gonna deselect user must change password at next logon. And as you can see, we have some options here uh, underneath that as well. And I'll go ahead and input my password for John and I'll hit next and finish. Now the next thing we can do with our users is click in there into the group here and then I can click on John and I can right click on this user I just created and then click into properties. We might wanna add a description, maybe John is my virtual assistant. Okay, I'm good with that. All right, then I'm gonna right click again on the users folder here and I'm gonna create another user. This is gonna be Calvin. So we'll just input the same information, repeating the steps from last time. Again, I'll be unchecking this box for this tutorial. Hit next and finish. And then I just need uh, one more here for this tutorial. It's the same thing again. We're gonna put Kenzie. Kenzie will uncheck this box again and we'll put her password and finish. Now, if you notice we did a description for John, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for Calvin and Kenzie. So I'm just gonna right click into properties. Calvin is my ops manager. And we're gonna say Kenzie is my email marketer. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is I actually wanna create a security group. This is gonna be all here within the same little menu options. Uh, we're gonna click new here. We're just gonna go straight to group. And we want this to be a global security group. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create one of each of these for those two departments, the marketing department and the operations department. So this one will be for operations and rinse and repeat, new group. marketing. So we can see the security groups that we just created here. We'll start with operations. I'm going to right click and hit properties and then click one over to members and we're going to add in our ops manager. And how this works is I can check, I can put in the name and then we'll press check name. That checks within the domain here. So that now adds our user Calvin, who's our ops manager. So I'll press okay. I'll hit apply and press okay. And then I'm actually gonna go back into the same one. We're gonna consider uh, John, our VA. We'll consider John in the operations department. So again, J-O-N, John, check names and okay. We'll hit apply and okay. Now I'll go to my other department. And again, we're gonna repeat the same process. Properties, members, add. We're gonna check the name for Kenzie, and we'll press okay. Apply and okay once more. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for this part of the video series where we take you through Active Directory and some different things that you can do. If you wanna see the next parts of the video, you can find those in the description box below or it should automatically play that for you. 
Now again, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server 2022, SQL Server, RDS licenses, and more at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links in the description box below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next part.